Hello, and welcome to this June 2023 wrap-up video. I hope you're all doing well. This month, I have a couple of new things, so I'm just gonna dive straight into it. Uh, the first thing is this book. Yes, I got a book for once, and I am trying to read more, so anyways, um, this is a book about the Egyptian Book of the Dead, and um, I am planning to have a separate video for this, so I won't go into it too much here, but for now what I can say is that I'm so glad to have picked this one up because I think it's an excellent book. I've always felt a bit intimidated by it, I guess, because I felt like I needed to have like I don't know, a, a certain level of knowledge in ancient Egypt or mythology before I could, you know, begin to fully grasp or appreciate, you know, the, the book. But the author has, has made this so approachable and it's just beautifully written. So yeah, loved it. And um, if this is something that you're also interested in, then keep an eye out for the video that um, yeah, I, I will be posting shortly, I suppose. So yeah, that was the first thing. And let's just, oh, I'll put it over here. All right, so the next new thing that came along is a deck, a very, very special deck. And yeah, <laughs> so this happened. <laughs> um, I finally got myself a Thoth tarot deck and I wasn't planning to get um, a greenie to begin with but as I was researching the different versions um, this just stumbled along my way and I'm so glad it did. Um, I have been debating for the longest time whether to get um, the Thoth tarot and Again, it's one of those things that I've always felt a bit intimidated by, and I guess that's just the theme of the month, <laughs> breaking down the barriers of intimidation. And now this deck um, really felt like a real commitment, so I wanted to get it only if I felt truly called to do so. And um, as I held the deck in my hand for the first time, it just, there was this energy coming through from it, and a good kind of energy, mind you. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm just feeling really, um, what's the word? Uh, just really motivated, I guess, um, to start diving and learning all about these different cards, these amazing drawings. And yeah, I guess like, the, the other thing that really, um, that really fascinated me was just, uh, you know, I've seen these cards so many times online in other people's videos and such, and having the cards in front of me and just seeing them in person is a totally different experience, I have to say. There's just so much um, detail, and, um, yeah, these ones are the large size, so I'm, I'm so glad I got this one, because I did think of getting a smaller size at one point, but yeah, these cards are just incredible, so, yeah, this is what has been happening, and you might have noticed that, um, they, I have them in order right now, and that is because I am studying them in conjunction with the Tabula Mundi. And um, yeah, this deck, um, the Tabula Mundi, I haven't been working with it as much as I'd like to, but um, now that I have these two together, I'm just feeling this surge of energy that's propelling me to to study them together and um so yeah this uh this 
tarot notebook thing that I've been working on before. Um, this is going to take a back seat for now because I'm feeling called to work on this at the moment. Okay, so another new deck that arrived this month is the Rain Shadow Tarot, which um, I already have a video out for, and if you want to check that out, um, yeah, it's just a silent flip through of all the cards, and these are just absolutely beautiful. I love these card backs, just... Look at that. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, um, this is a new type of deck for me because normally I don't really jive with collage decks, but um, Claire Max style, um, I think, really works for me. And so, yeah, I've been just um, going through the cards a bit. Oh, and by the way, like, not all of them are collage. So, for example, the major arcanas are her own paintings. And I guess one thing I will say is that I kind of wish, um, the majors were also borderless. You'll see, yeah, so you'll see that the minors are all collage, borderless, and then the majors are paintings with these borders and I mean it's it's not a huge deal for me but if I could choose I kind of wish that they were all cohesive that way <laughs> but um anyways not a huge deal like I said um and yeah I've been really enjoying the artwork but at the moment for some reason I've been feeling like I want to pair this with another deck when I'm, um, when I'm using it. So I do only have a very small, intimate little collection of decks to choose from. So um, yeah, I, I have a few and I've been trying to figure out which one might work better. So let me, let me get that out and maybe you can also see for yourself. Um, let's this away first, put that there, and let's get things back in focus first. So the first deck that I've been trying to pair this deck with is the Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle. And the reason why I chose this particular deck is because I think that the colors um, work really well together and I've been feeling like I've been leaning towards Oracle um, for the pairing, at least right now, at the moment, and I don't know, yeah, I just feel like these, these color schemes, these color schemes do work. And so this is one, this is so far I think my favorite pairing. There's this very, like, I don't know, how should I say it? I'm, I'm really bad with words, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just feel like the art style, like, is really similar. Not similar, but they just work together. Like, <laughs> look at that. So yeah, that's that's the first pairing that I'm trying to work with for the Rain Shadow Tarot. And the other one that I've been trying to use is, let me also just get this out of the way here. This other one I haven't been using as much. It is the Compendium of Constellations by Claire Goodchild. And I really don't use this deck too much, so I've been trying to just use it more and, and see whether they work together. And 
in a way, I also feel like they do. It seems like that extra keyword um, just helps bring the message through a little bit more, to, at least to me. So, um, yeah, this is another one that I'm gonna try out, see how it, see how it feels. And so let's get this out of the way. Another pairing that I've been trying out is um, actually the Thoth <laughs> that I just got. And I don't know, for some reason, like, I feel like it's, it's not something that I feel like would normally go together, but somehow it also does kind of work for me. I don't know, it's, I mean, it's not like the art style is very similar, but there is something about this combination that I think might just work as well. One more. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I might, um, be working on this type of combination as well and um, yeah I guess that's all I had to say about the rain shadow tarot for now I also wanted to share a bit about an existing deck that I've been using this month um, as you can see a lot of the decks that I showed just now were all very like bold and vivid kind of um, decks and so I decided to um, use the Land of Sky Oracle this month as well just to sort of like balance things out a little bit. This deck has been wonderful and there are some cards that really spoke to me with regards to living a peaceful life and in a balanced manner and so I thought I'd talk about bit more about some of those cards. The first card that I wanted to talk about is Ahimsa, um, which is Sanskrit for compassion. So sometimes I feel like we live in a society where there's just so much fear and lack of understanding for one another and oftentimes we're quick to judge before even seeing the full picture and this, to me, feels like it creates a certain disconnect. And so, to me, compassion isn't just about feeling bad or sorry for something. It's also about having an understanding for underlying reasons and the truths behind things that happen. And from there, taking action to help and be the support. And so, I think when people as individuals are in peace and harmony with themselves, it has an effect which then heals as a collective and allows us to be more in tune with the people and environment around us. The second card is contentment. and. I think this is an incredibly important mindset to have. It's hard to be at peace if you're always feeling like the glass is half empty, right? And don't get me wrong though, I think like striving for incremental improvements over time is a good thing, but don't go searching for more, you know, for, for the sake of chasing it. Do it for the right reasons and always appreciate what's already within your domain. Now the next two cards I feel like sort of go hand in hand and they are the tree pose and turning inward. Um, so to me the tree pose represents grounding um, 
in an external physical sense, um, being in tune with one's surroundings. Um, and then there's this one which is turning inward and it's, to me, it's like being in tune with yourself, your higher self. And I think these are really important too because I feel like it's so easy, at least for me, to get stuck in these internal thoughts and it can feel like getting sucked into a black hole. So these cards are um, a good reminder that both the external and internal aspects should be balanced for a healthy relationship of the self. Now this last card, which I think might just be the most important one of all, is love. Um, I think that we can all seek peace through love. Start by loving yourself. Forgive yourself for anything that you may be blaming yourself for. Let go of all the harshness imposed on you. And every moment can be a moment to start fresh. And when you have love within yourself, it radiates towards love for others as well. So yeah, I guess the message for today is just to be kind to yourself and to others around you. So um, thank you so much for watching. I guess that's all I have for this video and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.